Hello, welcome to John B. The RD, the research desk. Today, I will be talking about 71 passive income streams. But first, let's get into the four types of passive income. Passive income comes in four main varieties. One, investment returns. Two, residual earnings from assets you build yourself. And three, renting assets you already control. And four, reverse passive income. That is saving money and recurring expenses. So how do I generate passive income? The most common ways to generate passive income is through investments, returns such as share prices, appreciation, dividends, or real estate rental income. But perhaps more accessible is to build income producing assets like websites of your own. So now let's get into the 71 passive incomes. One would be affiliate commissions. I got my start in affiliate marketing back in 2004, and it's been a significant piece of my revenue pie ever since. How affiliate marketing works is I earn commission for referring leads and customers to other products and services. I actually listed, a, a, I uploaded a video about different platforms that you can be affiliate marketers for to podcasting last year's sponsorship revenue on the side hustle show equips a old day job salary which was a cool milestone this is totally passive income because produces the show each week but it's certainly time leveraged the more listeners you reach the better rates you can command. And that's just one way podcasters can make money. Today, it estimates each episode is worth between 1,500 to 2,500 in overall value to business. Of course, it took time to build that asset, lots of time, but now there are 400 episodes, each one a little mini asset that can build relationships and potentially earn income on autopilot. Three, Kindle book sales. The next few income streams are all self-publishing related. It's never been easier to create an ebook your own and put it for sale on Amazon. I received my first, first author royalties in 2012 and have added several more titles since then. It's one of my favorite side hustles and one of my most passive income streams. Write the book once and collect royalties for months or even years wherever it sells. Some of these titles are still racking up passive income years later. When you price a book between $2.99 and $9.99, you earn 70% royalties. Outside that range, it's 35%. Four. Paperback book sales. For every Kindle book you write, it probably makes sense to add a, a paperback edition. Thankfully, Amazon makes this incredibly easy with this KDP print service. The service is in print on demand, meaning you don't need to stock a garage full of books. After you upload your files and set your price, Amazon prints and ships each copy to the customer that places an order. I typically earn around $3 for every paperback copy sold. Five, audio books. Since some readers will always prefer audio, I'm all for giving them that option. One of my books earned over $2,000 in audiobook sales in the first year. You don't even have to record your work yourself. In fact, unless you have a podcast or a YouTube channel where people use to hear your voice, 
I probably wouldn't. Through ACX, the audiobook creation exchange, Amazon helps connect you with professional narrators. Some of these voiceover artists will even read and produce your book for free in exchange for a share of the future royalties. Six, dividend investing. Investing for dividend cash flow has helped me off, get off sidelines and into the market. I'm the person who always thinks we're due for correction. My basic strategy, and again, I don't take this as investment advice, has been to buy shares in companies with a long history of paying and increasing dividends. These include mostly name brand businesses like Target, Chevron, AT&T, and Procter and & Gamble. Because they've been around forever, they're not likely to have explosive share price growth, but they do spin off consistent passive income. Over the last few years, I've slowly built up to several hundred dollars a month. Check out a service like Modern Brokerage M1 Finance to get started yourself. You can trade stocks for free or select one of their pre-built portfolios. That's an example of an affiliate link. Seven Udemy course sales in 2014. I created an online video course about how to launch nonfiction Kindle books on Amazon. It earned 3,500 in the first couple months and has gone on to earn passive income sales ever since. The total is now over $20,000. All I have to do is respond to the pretty frequent student questions or comments. Again, this falls under the method of creating something once and then selling it over and over again. Eight. Digital product sales on Fiverr. Several years ago, I decided to test selling a couple of my books on Fiverr. I figured it would have been another interesting buy button platform to experiment with. Sure enough, people bought them, and in fact, they continued to buy them. Fiverr definitely has not been a focus lately, but in total, I've earned $13,000 on the site since last 2013. Full disclosure, a good chunk of that revenue was not passive. I sold book editing and the video website reviews in addition to digital products. Over the years, Fiverr has shifted to become primarily a freelance platform. So the strategy today would be to create a compelling service offer. Nine, merch by Amazon. This is a low overhead, low investment way to build a little passive income. In our house, Merch is a fun little side business and generates $60 to $200 a month for us. How it works is you upload a t-shirt and now other products designed through Amazon, and the e-commerce giant does the rest. When someone orders it, they'll print it and the size and color is selected and ship it to the customer. You're on a spread between whatever the price that you set and the cost to print it. Our best month was $500 in profit, which I think could have hit consistently if we decided to more time to creating new designs. That hasn't happened since the arrival of Little Hustler number two. For more getting started with merch by Amazon, You can also check it into other platforms like Teespring, which is now called Spring. They have partnered with Amazon themselves. 10. Display ads. If you run a website and display ads like Google AdSense might be your first way to earn a few passive dollars from your traffic. I don't have display ads on, but do on another side I manage. I actually sold these sidebar banners ad placements myself instead of using a third party advertising host like AdSense. This gives me more control over the ads that are shown to my visitors and I can earn more as well. My advertisers are set up on automatic monthly payments and have been with me for years. This income stream generates around $450 a month for me. Your ability to do the same will, of course, depend on the amount of traffic that your website receives and the demographics of this traffic. 11. Selling a featured listing in a dic directory. This site I mentioned above has a company directory component to it. 
it's simple to Yelp and that the highest rate rated companies rise to the top of the rankings. And similar to Yelp, companies have reached out about buying a featured placement at the top. I said, I said I could do that for about $500 a month, label the listing as sponsored, and put the company on an auto, automatic monthly payment plan. Boom, a new passive income stream. 12. Non-display ads. Many website owners don't want to clutter their sites with ads, and I totally understand that. That's one reason there aren't any ads on this site. However, one possible extra revenue stream is to let advertisers place their retargeting scripts onto your site. This is inevitable to invisible to visitors, but allows those other companies to potentially market that audience on Facebook or channels. Just make sure that you disclose this with your privacy policy. I've been playing around with this for the last few years in a directory site I mentioned above. A few advertisers have taken me up on it to the tune of around $150 a month. I don't charge a ton for these, but each is automatic payment through PayPal. Here's a cool service that, you, that can help you with your site. 13. YouTube Ads. If you ha have over 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel, you can enable Google's built-in monetization. Lately, this passive income stream has been around $300 a month. This is the income stream I'm probably most excited about right now because it feels completely new. And to be sure, creating video content takes time. But once your videos are up there, they can earn passive income for you for years, as some of mine have. 14. Fundrise. Fundrise is a cool alternative way to invest in real estate. Disclosure. They have several funds that operate like many REITs or real estate investment trusts where you are buying a combination of debt and equity in a range of commercial properties they bundled together. The platform is open to non-accredited investors with just $10 minimum investment. Historically, the company has paid 6 to 10% dividend yields. I'm about six years into the investment there and they've paid out every quarterly so far. Of course, there haven't been any major real estate downturns that time either. 15. Peer Street. With Peer Street, you're instantly helping real estate flippers with their acquisitions and rehab costs and earning 6 to 9% of your investment. The big advantage over the peer to peer lending and to the loans are backed by the real estate property. So if the borrower stops paying, you have some resource or recourse, namely foreclosure. The loans are shorter term, generally one year or less, instead of three to five years. The big drawback is it's $1,000 minimum investment per deal compared to $25 prosper. Seen below is so if one of these defaults, it could potentially be a big blow. Peer Street is also currently open to accredited investors. 16. Worthy bonds. To add diversification and cash flow to the portfolio, I've taken up some small portion in worthy bonds. These small business bonds pay 5% interest and you can buy them for only $10 a piece. The bonds are used to fund inventory and asset-backed loans to small U.S. businesses. Since the loans use inventory as collateral, they'll consider safer than other personal or business loans. You can also automatically reinvest your invest interest and make plenty free withdrawals at any time. 17. Credit card rewards. Yes, I can consider credit card rewards passive income because I earn them from just spending money like I normally do. In our house, this stream is worth hundreds of dollars a year in the form of cash back, free gift cards, and travel. The magic really happens when you take advantage of certain sign-up bonuses for new cards earning an equivalent of 20 to 30 to 40% cash back or more in travel value and statement credit. 18. Cash back apps. Aside from credit card rewards, I use several cash back apps to earn reverse passive income every time I shop. Among those are Capital One Shopping or Fetch Rewards. 
19. Mint Mobile. I recently switched to Mint Mobile, which runs on the T-Mobile network for a cell phone service. When you prepay, it costs just $15 a month. Compared to my old provider, Ting, and even older providers, Verizon and Representative Tip, $180 to $500 a year. 20. Trim. Trim is a unique program that will help you save money. Sign up, download the app, and connect your accounts to Trim. The app analyzes your spending and finds ways to, to save money. This includes ne negotiating to lower your bills, like cable and internet. Trim also helps you cancel forgotten subscriptions and recurring charges, costing you money every month. I was a little skeptical, but Trim negotiated more than $300 in annual savings off my Comcast bill. <clears throat> the company charges 33% of the savings as their success fee, which lowers their com competing services like Bill Shark and Bill Cutter. 21. A debt-free life. Another reverse passive income stream I can't take for granted is the money we save every month by carrying no debt. According to NerdWallet, the average household with debt is facing $6,500 in credit card debt, $27,000 in vehicle debt, and $46,000 in student loan debt. If you are paying interest right now, I would prioritize eliminating that monthly expense before exploring some of these strategies. 22. A commute-free life. The cost of even the average commute can add up fast in, in the form of gas and vehicle maintenance, depreciation on your vehicle insurance costs, and opportunity costs on your time. Working for home for the last 10 years has undoubtedly saved me thousands. Of course, it's not realistic for all job roles, but remote work has certainly become mainstream lately. If you can work from home, even one or two days of a week, I would chalk that up as a win in a reverse passive income category. 23. Renting instead of buying. This is very unpopular and in personal financial circles, but we've been consciously throwing money away on rent for years. The math will vary by location, but in our area, it's far cheaper to rent than to own. Writing that rent check every month saves thousands of dollars over the mortgage on a similar size home. To be sure, we're not building any equity or capturing any appreciation, but our would-be down payment mortgage and property tax money is working for us in other ways. On top of that, we've seen our home owning friends spend serious money replacing roofs, remodeling, and even fixing settling foundations. I'm sure someday we'll jump back into the home ownership, but for the, right now, renting has saved at least $20,000 a year. So this basically helps you with planning your overhead for if you got a five-year plan or even a 10-year plan, it might be something that you would want to consider. 24. Saving account interest. Our savings account through Capital One earns 0.5 interest on our balance. That's not a lot, but adds up. Even if you don't have substantial savings yet, it might be time to make a switch. Also, something another one that you might be interested in is go to bank. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. 25. Checking account interest. Passive income streams is laughably small, but hey, every penny counts, right? I earned a whopping $1.78 in checking account interest last year. <laughs> 46. Buy cash flowing assets for passive income. With this option, you're putting your money to work for you, not your time, and necessarily your skills. How can you turn money into more money? Thankfully, there are lots of ways to do this. Yeah, dividing a business and creating a free account with M1 Finance Account, Fundrise, and Peer, Peer Street. However, there are several other options that might appeal to you depending on your risk, tolerance, and knowledge. 26. Diversify Fund. Diversify Fund is a new EREIT that targets value add apartment complexes. These are cash flowing complexes in, in need of upgrades, but once the improvements are made, the value of the complex and real estate income increases. 
The strategy seems to be working. Diversifun has seen 15% plus in returns in the first couple of years. It's important to note that you should only invest money you don't expect to need for a while. The company suggests a target of five years holding period during normal market conditions. Diversifund is open to a non-accredited investor with a minimum investment of $500. 27. Roof stock. Continuing to real estate theme is roof stock. The platform specializes in matching investors with turnkey rental properties across the country. A couple of friends of mine have purchased several houses through an easy to use site. I like diversity of REITs, but in, if building a real estate empire is your long-term plan, these guys will help you do it. One house at a time. 28. Acre Trader. Invest in America's farmlands with Acre Trader, starting with $5,000 minimum. Since 1990, farmland investors have seen 11.5% annual return, according to the site. Acre trading crowdfunds and purchase the active farmland and then rent it back to the farmers who operate it. Investors make money in two ways, from appreciation of the land and even in the future sales and from annual cash rent payments from farmers. The company aims to analyze cash distribution and the three to five percent range. Twenty nine. Realty Mogul. Realty Mogul is one of the first real estate crowdfunding sites I came across, and they have two mogul or EIT options that are open to non accredited investors with relatively low investment, starting at five thousand. Both mogul or EIT investment in commercial properties in debt and equity positions and pays out a 4 to 7% annualized dividend each month. So 4 to 7% annual dividends each month, monthly, is actually pretty good for your portfolio. The platform also offers private lending deals for accredited folks that target returns 12 to 14%. 30. Yield Street, credit investors only. Yield Street is an interesting platform that unlocks investments previously only available to hedge funds and inter institutional investors. The company builds many mutual funds, my term, not theirs, of different assets, classes, including real estate, legal case settlements, commercial equipment, and account receivable. The platform targets 8 to 15% annualized returns and has historically earned investors over 11% unrealized internal rate of return. 31. Website investing. As I can attest, blogs and websites can earn great passive income without your direct involvement, but you can also usually, but you also usually can't stand still for long before income starts to fade. Things break. Content needs updating, and Google ranks, rankings are always changing. There are a few services that help you invest in this asset and hands off through Onfolio. Onfolio is one of that come across my desk recently. If you have web skills and you might like this interview with Stacy Caprio, who bought enough cash flow in the form of existing websites to quit her job. 32. Raw land flipping. Okay, this business model is a ton of work up front, but don't done right. You'll be collecting payments for years. The basic idea is explain as Roberto Champez on the site hustle show is to buy parcels or vacant land at a discount and then to resell that property on a monthly payment plan. 33. Royalty Exchange. Royalty Exchange is a unique investing platform that lets you purchase future royalties from popular and not so popular music. 34. Prosper. I haven't been thrilled with my prosper.com returns lately, but there are certainly other platforms to consider if you are interested in peer to peer lending. 35. The Lending Club. Lending Club is the largest peer to peer investing site in the US. Expected annual returns for a diversified portfolio of notes range between 4 to 8%. The minimum investment is $25 per loan. 
36. Bondura. This European peer to peer lending platform provides lend loans to residents of Spain, Estonia, and Finland. They've been in business since 2009, according to their site. Over 98% points. 98.6% have realized posit positive returns and 48% have earned 9% annually. The site now opens to European Union residents and residents of Norway and Sweden with a minimum investment per loan of just one euro. If you're outside the EU, you might be accredited to invest. 37. Zopa, spelled Z O P A. UK based lending platform Zappa lets you can invest as little as one one thousand with expected returns between three to six percent. Thirty eight rate setter. The UK site targets three to four percent returns across the diversified portfolio of loans. Thirty nine certificates of deposit. CD rates are Abysmally low at the moment, How, hovering right around 1% for a year, one year term. I don't love CDs right now since you can earn better returns and have better liquid, liquidity elsewhere, but they are always a safe option. Business cleaning for passive income, aside worthy mentioned above, here are some options if you like the idea of lending money to small businesses. 40. Street shares. Street Share is a unique platform that allows you to invest and support veteran run businesses and earn a fixed 5% return. The product is called Veteran Business Bond and is open to all investors with just a minimum $25 contribution. You can access your money anytime for a 1% fee or withdraw fee free after three years. This is similar to the setup of Worthy, except for the Worthy allows free, uh, fee free withdrawals at any point. 41. Kick Further. On kickfurther.com, you invest in inventory for growing e commerce companies. This appealed to me much more than backing random companies on Kickstarter. Instead of early access to a product that might not really reach production, you can interest on short term inventory loans. A typical Kick Further consignment might pay 5 to 9% profit with 4 to 10 month payback period. Some of my early deals on this site didn't pan out, which kind of soared my opinion of the platform. But I've seen better results lately. Still, I prefer Worthy right now because the interest payments are far more consistent and you can automatically reinvest in just $10 increments and you can withdraw anytime without fees. 42. Funding Circle The Funding Circle of credit investors can leave money to established and growing American small businesses. The interest rates vary from 5% to 20%, but historical returns are in the 5 to 7% range. There's a $500 minimum per loan and $25,000 minimum required deposit to open an account. 43. P2B Investor Help small business grow with short-term asset-backed investment opportunities on P2B Investor, peer-to-business. Passive income ideas for building assets. If you don't happen to be sitting on mountains of idle cash, the good news is there are still lots of ways you can begin building passive income. In fact, I believe allocating some of your time to just pursue is incredibly valuable. When the assets you build start to pay off, you can slowly taper off trading time for money. I touched on some of my methods above, which primarily results in around building income, producing websites and books. But those aren't the only types of assets you can build in your spare time. Here's some other ideas to consider. 44, create an email course. Do you have a skill that you can teach over email? You might even already have some material in your set mail folder. Hybrid is a unique learning newsletter platform and pays creators every time someone signs up to your class. On top of that, the platform helps you reach new audience and potential blog readers, clients, and customers. So 45, creating an online course with several there were services like Teachable. It's never been easier to create and sell online courses to your, your own. These 
can command premium prices, $100 to $2,000 or more, and allow you to help more people than you could with this one-on-one -on -one consulting. So what could you teach? Consider what people will already ask for help with. What do you know more about than the average person? Over the years, we've seen people making money with online courses on just about every topic imaginable. Some of the more creative cases studies include piano, microgreen farming, sourdough baking, motorcycle repair, and getting dressed in the morning. <laughs> 46, app development and software. Can you solve a problem with software? It's the ultimate scalable business and that the same code can be sold in unlimited number of customers. While a smartphone app tends to have a short shelf life, a premium software tool can be sold either as a one-off purchase or a recurring monthly subscription. As a customer, I bought both. If you don't have a technical chop to build something like this yourself, you could always partner or hire someone who does. The biggest consideration is that you do your homework up front and make sure that there are hungry markets demand for what you're building. 47. Music licensing. Even Ox Horn described himself as a moderately talented musician, but explained that he has earned thousands of dollars a year in passive income throughout stock muscle license or stock music license. His songs have been NPR the Outdoor Channel, Verizon's On Demand Channel, and more. In fact, as digital marketing channels proliferate, apps, YouTube, your favorite podcast, the demand for affordable licensing music keeps growing to keep pace. 48. Photo licensing. Like music licensing, licensing your photograph free is a number, numbers game. It appears every passive income list, but my understanding is that incredibly competitive and you'll need thousands and thousands of images to make any meaningful profits from it. For example, Dave Bredson, Bredson is a professional commercial photographer who supplements his com commissioned work by selling stock photos on dreamstime.com. Even though each image sells for relatively little, the same image can be sold to dozens of different buyers. In fact, Dave has around 3,200 images in his portfolio, but he makes over 100,000 sales on Dreamstime. I've been averaging around 1,600 a month in Dreamstime earnings, he explained. I choose topics that are easy to produce at the lowest possible cost. My portfolio is dominated by backgrounds, technology, business, and Christmas images. 49. Alexis Skill Development. There are a couple ways side hustlers can make passive income with Amazon's popular Echo devices. The first is like Apple App Store. You can build special Alexa voice apps called Skills. As a skill developer, you can set your own price and earn 70% of the revenue when users buy it. For example, Nick Schwab created a free ambient noise skill and now has 10,000 paying customers for a premium subscription version price between 99 cents to $1.99 a month. Amazon has a reward program to encourage developers to build out the ecosystem of their skills. Your rewards are based on the popularity and engagement of your skill, but some developers report earning thousands of dollars a month. 50. Voiceover royalties. As you might have guessed from the audiobooks sec section above, there's another way to make money from audiobooks on Amazon without writing anything yourself. That moment is as audiobook narrator and producer. If you if you love the idea of getting paid to talk, know your way around audio engineering and equipment and software, and don't mind reading to other people. It could be fun. As a producer, you'll be able to make fixed price bids and project that author post as ACX. You'll also see royalty shared projects where you'd be narrating the books for free upfront in exchange for a share of the audiobook royalties and bounties when it sells. In both cases, you'll submit your audition to get to work if chosen. 51. Subcontract a service business. Chris Schwab started a residential house cleaning business back when he was still in college, but he has grown it to 60000 a month in less than two years. 
a while never mopping a floor or dusting a shelf himself, what Chris discovered was that even though there were already dozens of competing cleaning services, there was opportunities in spaces he figured out that while pursuing Yelp reviews, existing cleaning companies, no one complained about the cleaning itself, he said. What people complained about was the customer service. They didn't know when the crew was going to show up. They couldn't get a quote, and no one was answering the phone. I knew I could do that, and finding cleaners to do the actual work. Since then, he delegated much of the customer support as well. When he caught up, the business took just a few minutes a day for him to manage. 52. Sell a digital file or guide. Jody Carlson brings more than two decades of experience to Girl Scouts on the, t to the table. First as a scout and then as a troop leader, she started a blog documenting the activities she was doing with her scouts. Mostly just as a reference for herself and other local reader, leaders. Before long, troop leaders from the other side of the country have discovered her site through Google and Pinterest. They emailed her asking him what other ideas she had. That's when Jody began compiling her activity guide into PDF documents. She uploaded them to Teachers Pay Teachers, a site to buy and sell lessons, lesson plans, and made several sales in the first week. Since then, the business has grown to more than 5K a month. Throughout sales of these digital guides, advertising revenue and affiliate partnerships all onto the side of from her day job. 53. Drop shipping. Drop shipping is a unique type of e-commerce where the supplier actually ships the products to customers on their behalf. As a seller, you don't have to purchase any inventory up front and profit on the spread between the retail price you charge and the wholesale price you've agreed upon with your supplier. And one of the most popular side hustle shows of all time. Rini Delbert broke down how he sold 300,000 worth of balanced houses in his first year as a drop shipping store owner. Although there's a lot of upfront work in building this site and securing supplier relationships, drop shipping can be relatively passive after that. 54. Vending machines. Vending machines are one of the oldest passive income ideas. A a silent sales force that collects cash and automatically dispenses products when you are not around. The challenge is managing inventory and keeping the machine stocked, especially if you have several locations. Still, the thought of returning to a machine finding filled with money is pretty motivating. For more on how to the, the vending machine business can work, check out my interview. I actually have a video, um, how to start a vending machine business. So you can check that out. Passive income ideas, sharing and selling assets. The next category of passive income ideas we'll explore involves selling and sharing some assets you can control. It could be physical products or it could be extra space or it could even be something more abstract like an idea of your attention. Many of these require having something of value to share or sell, which naturally will take either time or money to acquire. Still, here are some options to consider. 55. Amazon FBA. The fulfillment by Amazon programs let individual sellers like you and me tap into Amazon logistics and networks a massive audience of buyers. How it works is, is you ship a product to, into the warehouse, and then Amazon ships the item to customers on your behalf. I'm counting this as passive income like other op options in this section. You can make sales and profits long after you build up your initial inventory. The simplest way to get started is actually by sourcing discounted products locally. As explained by longtime Amazon seller Jessica Garwu, I can't say her last name, Garwu. Anyways. <laughs> When I tested it myself, I made 650000 The The downside is if you stop sourcing, you'll eventually run out of products to sell. 56. License a product idea. Product license is a unique way to 
earn residual income for your ideas. While letting someone else do the work, Nate Dallas and his brother split $300,000 in royalties from a Pictionary-inspired card game they licensed to Matto. The duo, a dentist and a preacher, didn't have a designer, produce it, or sell it, but they found someone who could, and they cashed the checks. 57. Rent out a space or spare bedroom. With Airbnb and similar sites, you can turn extra space in, in your home into extra cash. 58. Rent out your car. The average vehicle sits idle for 22 hours a day. What if you couldn't turn that time? You didn't need your car into cash flow. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't trust people to drive their car because they were reliable. So it's an option, but it's not one I would recommend. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon to get notified of upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.